Back at 645 now on Daybreak and Do this morning, a Niagara University professor is looking for parents to enroll their babies in her new study. She's measuring early attention skills and is interested in how babies divide their attention. And Daybreak's Alexander Rios Malvia got a firsthand look at things and has more on how this study could help advance science. Can five-month-old Matthew tell the difference between what's normal and what's not? That's what Dr. Donna Thompson at Niagara University is trying to figure out. You're thrust into this world where it's like, I've never seen a single thing. How do I learn how to look? And that's something we've just always taken for granted. <laughs> in this study, Matthew gets put in this baby booth so he's not distracted. I didn't really know what to expect. His mom, Marissa Murphy, gets to watch him the entire time on these monitors. It's opposite from us. So I always forgot that when we were watching which one he was actually looking at, because on the TV, it's like opposite from what he's seeing. In less than 10 minutes, Matthew sees over 40 moving shapes on these two computer displays. Could see each one twice, depending on where he's looking. Dr. Thompson is watching very closely to see if Matthew can tell if one solid object appears to pass through another object. This is called a solidity violation. When shapes move, they should move behind each other or around each other or stay separate, but they shouldn't go through. After the family leaves, Dr. Thompson and her students go through the footage to see how long he looked at each video, but also how often he looked at each display. But I think it's also good that parents get an idea of like what kinds of things their kids are capable of doing at every age. So, you know, what are the best kinds of toys? What kinds of interactions should I expect? It's an opportunity See, Marissa and her family just couldn't pass up on. Hi, Matthew. Dr. Thompson is still looking for about 20 more babies to participate. All the families who participate in the study get a gift card to a local grocery store. You can find more information about this study with this story on our website at WGRZ.com. Melissa Pete. All right. Thank you very much, Alex. Neat stuff.